example one, solve two log to the base e of x plus one is equal to log e of y for y in terms of x. So you've got to make y the subject here. So I'm going to turn the equation around and have log e of y is equal to 2 log e of x plus 1 and then I'm going to put that 2 in here and it's going to become log e of x squared plus 1 then I'm going to minus this term to the other side so log e of y minus log e of x squared equals 1 and now using the log law for when you're minusing two logs and you've got to make sure that you always put this number on the inside before you use that subtraction log law and that becomes log e of y on x squared is equal to 1 and from there you just go e to the power 1 equals what's in the bracket there so e to the 1 equals y on x squared and then the next step just multiplying both sides by x squared you end up with y equals e to the 1, which is just e, and then times by x squared, and that is the answer. So y is the subject now in that equation. Example 2, solve e to the x is equal to 1 half for x, and give an exact value. So for this one, e to the x equals 1 half. Now, the only real way to get to this power is to take the log of both sides and it doesn't really matter what base you take it to but because e is the base here I'm going to go log to the base e of e to the x and do the same to the other side so log to the base e of one half and then the x can come out the front so x times by log e of e equals log e and I'm going to write this as I'll keep it as one half and then log to the base e of e is equal to one so the log of a number where that base is the same number is always equal to one so this just becomes x is equal to and then this is one answer so log e of one half and just putting brackets around all of them and here what I want to do is express this as a whole number so that becomes log to the base e of 2 to the minus 1 and then that minus 1 comes out the front and then you get x equals minus log to the base e of 2 and that is that one solved for x and this is, is an exact value and if you had to do it to decimal places you would just type it into your calculator example 3 5 log to the base x of 625 equals 10 solving for x so the first thing you need to do here is get rid of this 5 and do that by dividing both sides by 5 5 log to the base x 625 all on 5 or just putting the 5 over 5 equals 10 over 5 and from there log to the base x of 6 to 5 equals 2 and once again from here making a power statement so always starting with the base so x to the power 2 equals 625 and then some number squared equals 625 that happens to be 25 or you can do this take the square root of both of them like that that cancels out the squared and you get x equals positive 25. Example 4, log to the base x plus 1 of 27 equals 3. So once again, just making a power statement. So this is the base, so x plus 1 all to the power 3 equals 27. And from here, you could ask yourself what thing cubed equals 27. I'll actually do it this way. So x plus 1 cubed and 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So because the powers are the same, that means the bases must be equal to each other. So from there, x plus 1 equals 3 and from there x equals 3 minus 1 which equals 2. So that's the answer for this one here. And that was the answer. In example 5, log e of x plus log e 
or log to the base e of 3x plus 1 is equal to 1. Solve this for x. So what you need to do here is just add those two using your log laws. So they, they become log to the base e of x times by 3x plus 1. And put that in one big bracket. And that's equal to 1. And from there, just use your power statement or get a power statement from the log statement. So it's e to the power 1 equals what's in the bracket there. So e to the 1 equals x bracket 3x plus 1. And from there, 3x squared plus x. And then you get 3x squared plus x minus e equals 0. And from here, because of this e, you cannot factorize this. So best thing to do is use the quadratic formula. And I will do that. So x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac on all over 2a. So that equals b is 1, so minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a is 3 and c is minus e times minus e. So the square root of all of that and all of that's over 2 times a which is 2 times 3 which is 6 and then that equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 times 3 is 12 e and a minus times a minus is a plus so plus 12 e so all of that is a positive number so you can take the square root of it and from there your two x solutions are the first one x is going to be equal to minus 1 minus that bracket or that square root minus 1 minus that square root 1 plus 12 e all over 6 and the other one is minus 1 plus that square root 1 plus 12e all over 6. And if you were asked to find x to so many decimal places, you would just use your calculator to figure that out. And this one here, 8e to the minus x minus e to the x equals 2. This first, again, solving this for x. So this first term is really 8 times an e to the minus x is 1 on e to the x minus e to the x which equals 2 so if I times every term by e to the x it'll cancel this out and that first term will become 8 and then e to the x times e to the x is e to the 2x or e to the x I'll just put this step in so that will become that squared equals 2e to the x now what I'm going to do is let w equal e to the x so this equation becomes 8 minus w squared equals 2 times w. Then reversing all the signs, so minus 8 plus w squared equals minus 2w. And then putting this on that side, you get w squared plus 2w minus 8 equals 0. From there, that will factorize to w plus 4 w minus 2 equals 0. From there, w equals minus 4, at, or w equals 2. So w was e to the x, so e to the x equals minus 4, or e to the x equals 2. Taking the log of both sides, you get log to the base e of e to the x equals log to the base e of 2, then bringing this x out the front, log e of e equals log e of 2, and then this is equal to 1, so you end up with x equals log e, or log to the base e of 2. So that's the first solution, and in fact, for this one here, e to the x equals minus 4, the graph of e to the x looks something like that. Now this end here, as x gets more and more negative, the graph approaches the x-axis but never cuts it 
or crosses it. So that means there's no x value that you can sub into the function e to the x that will give you a negative value for that whole expression. In other words, you will always have positive y values. So that means there's no number that you can sub in there that will give you minus 4 as your answer. So there's no solutions to that part. So that means that this is the answer, the only solution to this problem here.